I'm not allowed to drink this now, am I? Yeah. Oh, am I? Yeah. And then you. Mmm. <gasps> Two different. Cheers. Ready? Hey guys, welcome back. I managed to drag Ollie into this video and we even got all dolled up for it. How to shave? Yeah, <laughs> and got all that. I even put makeup on and earrings, which is seriously new for me. But so many of you were saying when I asked on Instagram that you wanted to know about our gift guide suggestions. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to sit down and chat you through some of our favourite things from the year. Yeah, just everyday things that we use all the time, love, couldn't be without. Yeah, and also some new bits that I may have picked up. I've got some presents already for Ollie, which I'm going to show you at the end. Um, and we wanted to get this video out before Black Friday because obviously all of the sales are coming. I think they're going to be absolutely mega this year. Can't believe yeah. that some have already started. Just absolutely insane. I think there's going to be some great discounts. If you're also wanting some more discounts, this video is actually sponsored by Top Cashback. And they are simply what it says in the name. You get cash back when you purchase things online. And I'll pop up on screen here what the website looks like so you can get an idea of how it works. But they have over 5,000 retailers. They have Etsy, Topshop, Ted Baker, Unico, Urban Outfitters. So many that you'll know. One of my favourites is ASOS. So if you go onto the website and you sign up, it's totally free. It doesn't affect your shopping experience or price at all. Type into the search bar the retailer or brand that you're looking for. So I'm going to type in ASOS and then it will come up with the brand. And if you click on it, you'll see a big pink button that says get cash back now. If you click on that, it will send you over to the retailer and you just shop like you normally would, add the items to your basket and check out. And then you can go back to top cash back and within no time at all, you can see the cashback that you have earned. So these are the items that I checked out with on top cashback, my Dr. Jart moisturizer, the Liars and Lovers headband, and the um, claw clip, which I will talk about later on, but I spent 49 pounds, and you can see over here the money that I earned from that order. And they are also offering new members a £15 sign up bonus when you spend £15 or more, which can be redeemed in the link in the description box, but it gets into your account within 14 days of making the order. But I will link all of the information down below in the description and get shopping, get saving those pennies. I think on average, a lot of people save about £350 a year on top of cash back. Because if you make it a habit, it really yeah. starts to add up. Or if you're looking for some like larger purchases. Yeah. Like so the house they have items. Um, larger house items, insurance. Insurance, yeah, all of the like average your day brother, to day things. Your brother and his girlfriend actually, they shop for their insurance before yeah. on there. Yeah, and it also gives you on the site loads of like um, great money saving things as well, like discounts that shops might have on as well. So. And then every now and again they have offers. I guess they're kind of offers. But they've got like a lot higher cash back for a certain amount of time on a certain yeah. thing. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on there and just see what's coming up. Definitely check it out. Let's get into some of the things that we have picked up. Which ones should we start with? My Christmas present. No, you're not looking at that. You're not allowed to see any of those. Right, we're starting with games. And I picked a puzzle. I'm really into puzzles this year. I wanted to pick a puzzle for everybody in my family. I definitely go for the ones that are the prettiest. And I just thought this one was so gorgeous. The Christmassy pattern. I really like puzzles that have a lot going on in them. So this like... This has a big scene, lots of different things, like little people. It's a nice lots of... design as well. It's quite, it's very Christmassy. It's yeah. not cartoonish and it's quite grown up. Just absolutely it's stunning. Nice. 500 piece. Um, Semi easy to do. I didn't want something too challenging. Something that we could do with all the family. We could do together. That's the only one. What? You know, not me. I'm not... That looks quite hard. <laughs> I'm not, I know there were so many that were a thousand. And your grants love the ones that are called, what are they called? Oh, he really likes was jigs, which are, they're basically puzzles which you don't have the picture on the front of the box, you've got no idea what you're making. Um, you've got a back to front picture, so it shows front. a picture of an audience, but you're actually... Seeing the stage. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird, but he loves those. Great for somebody who... Is a keen puzzler. Keen. I'll link some of those below too. And I have got Telestrations, mm. which is a combination between Chinese whispers and Pictionary. Yeah. Um, so you get like an idea, someone draws it, but in abstract form, and then you pass it around the circle, and then once you've finished, you find out if you've got it right or not, which is going to be hilarious because yeah. that kind of game just goes down a treat with your family. Uh, we're so competitive, so it's really nice to have games that like are quite light-hearted. 
and I feel like this one will be competitive but at the same time really funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then if you are up for it, there is also a adult version, which was um, the suggestions were interesting, <laughs> not suitable for family Christmas. <laughs> we won't be mentioning those. <laughs> they did look funny though. <laughs> Next, we do slippers. Yeah. Slippers are a must. I, I got you slippers last year, and you're going to show your slippers from last year. And I would show you my slippers, but they are terrible. I'm going to link them below. They're a really great choice if you're looking for something um, very reasonable. And for me, that's exactly what I needed last year. Is it? Yeah, they, they're there. They've lasted really well. They've lasted really well. They have a hard bottom, which was something with renovating that I really wanted. So you quite often wear those upstairs, just like poke around and... I wear them everywhere. I do wear them everywhere. Yeah. These, however, I won't be wearing them everywhere. These are simply just for the top floor. They probably wouldn't last any renovation with the colour, but they are so gorgeously soft. What I liked about these is that they're totally lined inside. Um, you know, sometimes they're not lined at the top. These feel like they're going to be extremely warm. I'm going to be wearing these when I'm sat at the desk. And they are a little bit of a luxury. They're definitely on the higher price point, but we're spending a lot of time at home. I'm always at home and I get very cold, very cold. in this house. These are going to be keeping me nice and toasty this year. And Ollie's, Ollie's are looking a little bit worn. These are the ones that I got him last year. <laughs> Off my feet. <laughs> yeah. And um, they have very similar ones this year. But Gant do just a really nice, Manly, but at the same time, they're manly, they're comfortable, they're not too fluffy. I, my fleet, my fleet, my feet, <laughs> my feet would roast in those white company ones, they're way too fluffy. Yeah, these weren't that fluffy, and they've got like a little heel at the back, which is really good. Kind of secures you in. I think the main thing again with these was the sole. We're yeah. all about the good sole, it's almost more like a house. more like a trainer sole. Yeah, it's like an indoor outdoor, indoor outdoor shoe. Um, yeah, we don't wear our outdoor. Yeah, so you've been converted. You're now a slipper guy, wasn't aren't a, you? Wasn't a slipper yeah, so if you have a guy who thinks that they're not into slippers, prove them wrong. <laughs> We've got his and hers items now. <laughs> We've got face washes. I feel like face washes are very easy for everybody because everybody needs to wash their face. Whereas, particularly men, you don't often moisturise or use serums. You probably should, but. What are you saying? I'm just saying, you probably should. I've got really bad wrinkles on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's more for the moisture. Like, I mean, case in point, if you see his hands at this point, they are literally peeling, they are so dry, but he won't put moisturiser on them. Anyway, it's a really easy gift to give because everybody washes their face. And even for females, moisturisers, treatments can be a lot more personal. I absolutely love balms. Ollie loves me using balms too. It smells so good. It's like a spa experience and it's a really nice, it just like melts off your makeup but at the same time you really end up giving your face a bit of like a massage and just taking that time, like the me time in the evening. I love this Elemis Pro Collagen one. It's definitely a bit of like a luxury treat. Also really like the um, Anna Hardy one. They I've had like the big pots of those. The morning, morning girl? Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. Well, he knows. <laughs> yeah. I get that one quite a lot. Yeah. For Laura and me. Yeah, but <laughs> they come with a face cloth and um, just such a treat. I love getting little bits like this at Christmas because you get to use them all afterwards. Enjoy a little pamper. And I have got the superfood facial wash. Yeah. Um, nice and fresh, clean scent. Um, and not too fussy, just kind of, yeah, you know, I it's think just a face wash. It's really, it's nice really nice because um, it's quite a unisex feel to it. Um, yeah, it's nice dark. Yeah, <laughs> do you like the dark packaging? Yeah. Um, so but sometimes this like makes it look a little bit like light. Yeah. Whereas that looks... That, that's all right for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So a great one, kind of like a unisex use. It smells gorgeous too, doesn't it? Yeah, like really fresh. Really, but it's like spa like it's But not mentally. I find that with no. a lot of like men's stuff, they just, and it's just like tea tree. It's like, oh, it's yeah. yeah, it can be really strong too. Like really sting, stings your face. Yeah. Yeah, whereas that one doesn't. Mm. And I also wanted to talk about one of my recent favourites actually, and I think 
Dr. Jar is a little bit more unknown and I, I'm a bit of a sucker for some Christmas packaging. This one has little penguins on, so it's super cute with Christmas trees and balloons um, and little dots all over it. I mean, it's focusing on my face, but if that doesn't want to make you buy it. This moisturizer is insane. I don't know what it does, but it makes my skin baby soft. Um, I suffer from breakouts but it doesn't break me out. I also feel like it gives a layer, and it is, I think it is you a protection. It was, you said it was like, it felt like it gave you protection, but it wasn't greasy. No. But it did give the, like the moisturizing. It's really of like a really moisturizing. greasy moisturizer. Yeah, so I was having a bit of trouble with renovation with um, like using harsh chemicals, or often just like, my skin isn't being treated very well. This is Shield, so also if you're suffering a little bit from breakouts from wearing masks, this will be perfect. And it also comes with a few other items in there, like a mask, which I've actually not used before. And that is the nice thing about these little gift packs, is that you get to use some things and discover some new bits. That one you got at the same time as another face cream, didn't you? Mm -hmm. That I was horrified at the price of. <laughs> But where are we going with this? But that was the first time that you've ever used a new product. Because like you can use new products all the time and you're like, oh it feels really good. I'm I'll like, even uh, use new products all the time. I can't, time I can't really see a difference. Yeah. Whereas after a week of using that and the other thing, your skin was I could I noticed it was yeah, better. Yeah, even Ollie was like, okay, I get the price tag. Yeah, now. it was worth it. it. Makes a difference. Okay, I'm on the run with some beauty bits now, so I'm going with it. I wasn't even gonna mention this one, but again, with the renovating and nails so difficult to keep on top of them i often don't get my nails done well we can't at the moment but i don't get them done very often because i know that i'm gonna be like sanding the floor the next day and quite a lot of you always say like how do you keep your nails looking good this is it i have only used this pretty much for the last year absolutely love it it's the essie um treat love and color it doesn't actually show the color that it is annoying me but it's just a tint and it's one of the straightening ones and I have it on my nails today because my nails aren't that great right now but it just gives a little bit of a shimmer but it really strengthens them so I find that I put two coats of this on and then the gel topper and it means that when I'm doing the renovation work I, and even when you're just doing like house chores cleaning the bathroom like you often do don't you you know how that will feel and the kitchen your nails can get really weak this keeps them really like lovely and strong a wonderful gift because again it's a non-offensive colour and I always love getting things that are like looking after myself. I feel like we all need a little bit of that this year. Headphones. Headphones. Two different types, both Bluetooth headphones. Um but I got these first a few years ago for mm -hmm. when I was at my old job. I had lots of desk time where I just needed to zone out and these are noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones. So you could cancel everybody else. Yeah, also mostly the air conditioning. We had really noisy air conditioning. Yeah. You didn't realise how loud it was until you had these on and it just cut everything out. Mm. Focus on your work. Um, and they're great. I would... Which ones are they? They're the Sony... They're the Sony... Their naming is awful. WH-1000XM3. Oh, okay. I'll link them below. <laughs> there is now a version 4. Um, yeah. But um, no point to upgrade. They're going to last forever. I've worn them a lot and... They're they still, look like brand new. They still look like brand new, but I've yeah. used them a lot. You can replace the ear cups if they do get a little bit tatty, but I haven't found any need to. Um, amazing, but quite pricey. So, depends if you think it's worth it. However, what isn't pricey are these, which your mum gave to me yeah, that's last nice. Christmas. Mm. They are also Bluetooth wireless headphones. They were $12.99 yeah, on that's Amazon. A shame. So, they're from a company called MPOW. There's loads of them on Amazon, so if you can't find the same ones, then don't worry. Um, they all have super high reviews, so just find a pair that look quite cheap and have many thousands of reviews. But these have gone up in price, which is why I said it's a shame, because they were £12 when we bought them. I think they're like, about the £20 mark 20, now. £20, £24. Pounds. Which is still really, really reasonable. Hands down, like if I lost these, I'd pay that instantly. Yeah, but you said that probably if you were looking at them again, you might have gone for a different option that was still around the like 10 to 15 pound mark yeah if i could find them at 12 to 15 pounds like it's not these ones i use for diy mm. so they get trashed you put them through the wash and they're Quite still going times. um they've been just, through a lot haven't yeah they? they're just amazing and uh, they kind of cut out a bit of the noise so it makes it a little bit easier on my ears if we like using big drills mm. or something but just listen to podcasts 
Yeah, um, I think they're made for like sport and running as well, aren't they? But if yeah. you have a guy who's into DIY or just generally quite active. Or, or just like walking into work, like I wear them yeah. for that as well. And yeah, they're great. Mm. Cancel me out all the time, don't you? No. Every single time. No. I, try, I always try and like turn them off now on his ears, but I can't do it. <laughs> okay, but I've got a load of little female stocking fillers now. I'm gonna start with this one. It's a rose quartz gorsha, which I don't even really know how to say. But firstly, it comes in the most gorgeous packaging, and then this really lovely pouch that you can keep it in, but you can also keep it in the box. And I'm sure you'll have seen these, but these are supposed to like stimulate and burn the skin. Ollie always thinks that this is a load of like mumbo jumbo, don't you? I think that they're great. Something that I really want to add into my skincare every evening, again, when you've got that balm on or you're gorgeous or putting oils on. I am getting to a point where I feel like I need to start looking after my skin a little bit better than I usually do. And I just think that this would be such a lovely stocking filler. And then kind of with the beauty side of things as well, also, I mean, this looks like just like quite a simple beauty headband, but it's really nicely done because this one has a built-in um, like ponytail position for it. So you can put your ponytail in it. It keeps your hair out of your face, but also it keeps it dry. Perfect for doing bits in the morning. And I always think that these are like, you'll know again, nice to have a little bit of refresh each year. So even if you do have one, it's nice to have a new one because sometimes you can get makeup on them and they can get a little bit grimy over time. And then I am a girly girl of all girly girls and I love all pretty hair things in my stocking and specifically claw clips. I adore these. I wear them all the time. They're perfect if you don't want to like get dents in your hair. I find that sometimes a ponytail can give me a headache, but these don't. They're just a lot gentler on the hair and on your head and your brain. It also doesn't help that these are just so pretty. <laughs> um, so I've got this gorgeous pink one, but also the tortoiseshell. I picked quite a few of these up over time. I leave them around my, my everywhere, don't I? You normally just need to say, can you pass me no, it'll be a clip? And it's, <laughs> yeah. It'll be there, yeah. So many from um, Anthropology, but these are from ASOS. There were some really nice ones on Etsy, but unfortunately, the postage on them were basically the same price as them. And then as well, because I think this time of year, it's lovely to have some headbands. I found this brand on ASOS called Liars and Lovers, and they just did the most beautiful headbands. So there's this one here with stars on, um, and also pearls, which are obviously, you know, one of my favorite things, but both of them are quite subtle. Yeah. So they're not too much. They're not like, if you're not sure whether somebody is like necessarily into headbands or doing much of their hair or they often wear their hair up, you could like wear your hair up. And these do love that you're shaking your head. No, I'm not even it New Year. Yeah, New Year. It's that this this one is exactly that what I was thinking of the New, thinking year. The new yeah. year. Um but I also thought this one would just be quite sweet as well as a um little little magician, a little bit of pearl, a little bit of something. Nice. 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 Don't often get a nice and agree from Molly, so there you go, some little like cute bits for the stocking. So this is an item that I think I actually got you for Christmas again, but Ollie asked for it. I asked for it. I didn't know how much it would change my life. <laughs> but it has been life changing. Amazing. And it is yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's a little key organizer. It's from a company called Orbit Key. Mm -hmm. Orbit Key? Orbit Key. I think it's Orbit Key. Orbit Key. And you just put your keys through the little screw and it holds them all together and then whenever you need one you can just fold it out and use it yeah but it is just the best thing when you like put your keys in your pocket and they just don't take up any room yeah. and they're just all neatly and also because you learn where your keys are so i know when i get them out of my pocket that my house keys on one side and key for works on the other mm. side you just kind of start to learn and it just makes finding your keys quicker it's nicer in your pocket i think and as also, well if you have them in the car I always find it's really annoying because they're kind of like jingling, jangling around. Yeah. 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 So um, it keeps them together and it also just looks quite smart. Looks it's much, much nicer smarter. just having that rather than having a big bunch of messy keys. Yeah. So much so. I've actually asked for one this year. Ballet tray? Yeah, I think they are called a ballet yeah. tray. Or uh, I think we've seen them called like coin trays. 
as well. Yeah. I'm curious. Um, this one is from Longchamp. Um, it's brown. It's, I think, supposed to be a travel one because it's got little pockets here so you can like clip it together. And but that is kind of like the Longchamp brand. Generally. Yeah. They go do like a lot of folding items. But great. Keep it by my bedside. Drop my keys, wallet, phone in it at the end of the day. Um, and it's it's great change. if you have a guy who just dumps things absolutely everywhere. Like I'm saying, loose change, keys, glasses, wallet. It all goes into here now, which is really nice. So it's kind of a gift for you both. Yeah, I've had it for ages, and again, something that I think I don't think I'm going to lose it because it just lives in my bedside. But if I was to lose it, get it straight away. Mm. That's quite a nice one as well. I'm sure there are some cheaper alternatives. Yeah, again, same on Amazon. Loads of options on there for every price point. But that one's especially yeah. a nice one. So this is something that I am asking for this year. Well, not this, but generally exercise yoga items because I've very much noticed the more time that I've spent inside this year, like how little exercise I do and how little kind of like self-love time I take. Um, I got this one off of Amazon because I wanted to try a cheaper alternative just to make sure that I actually do use it at the moment. Um, I really like the colour and it also matches with something that is on my Christmas wish list, which I'm not actually sure of the name of, but it's um, basically a weight that is shaped in a circle. Like a hoop. Like a hoop. Um, and it's just partly really gorgeous so one reason that I liked it is that I could leave it in the room and it wouldn't look like weird weights in the corner. I thought this was ridiculous when you told me about it but then after thinking about it for a while it made such sense Yeah. because like a big set of dumbbell weights they're kind of ugly you're not going to want yeah. them laying around. And we are the kind of people I think a lot of people are that like if you tuck it away in a corner or in the back of the cupboard you don't end not up using it. it so I wanted to like be able to kind of almost leave it out on the side every day and use it but we'll see haven't actually got it but it is on my christmas wish list and it's so easy to do exercise so yeah a yoga mat but also some gear leggings i'm looking at sweaty betty and jumper you're taking notes over there i've already got my list <laughs> um so then i can really get into it and it is quite a lot to invest in but also with being at home a lot it's quite nice to just have some gym gear and have some time to yourself yeah can't get to the gym might as well have some stuff at home yeah. like you said that one is more on the cheaper end yeah so get that see if you use it if you do give it a go get a nicer one yeah i will be determined i'm just going to mention these really quickly because i've talked about them before i talked about them in my um christmas haul i think White company pyjamas are my absolute favourite. They are such a treat at Christmas time. At Christmas, they also bring out menswear. Um, this jumper I bought for Ollie uh, a few years ago. Christmas ago. So, yeah. And you love it, don't you? It's yeah. a cashmere piece. Just such lovely quality pieces, especially in like the loungewear pyjama realm. These are just my absolute favourite and go-to. And as well as the, on the pyjama side, my absolute favourite dressing gown, which I did mention in last year's gift guide. So I'm not going to mention it again, but I will link that gift guide below because that has a lot of options for um, if you are still able to go out and shop. It also had some um, things from like charity shops and a little bit more alternative. We kept for a lot of things online for this one. But my go-to dressing gown is the Marks & Spencer's Rosie Huntington Whiteley super soft fleece dressing gown these pajamas with that dressing gown you basically can't get me out of it i absolutely adore it so warm so cozy so soft it's at the 40 pound mark so not bad either um if you wear it every single day literally every single day <laughs> this one is for chaps who like their watches and wearing different timepieces. Um, so this is not exactly useful right now because it's a travel case. Yeah. But I have also got a larger one upstairs which is just sits on chest of drawers, mm. which I could keep more in. But this one is really good because it has two little it has two little spots in there. So if we're going away for the weekend or something, I can chuck two things in there or keep one thing in there and one thing on my wrist and then swap them over when we're back in the hotel. Um, which is really good. Uh, it's from a company called Wolf mm -hmm. and they make smaller ones or much larger ones. Um, so just really nice thing to be able to just like 
It's like the equivalent of a female jewellery role. Yeah. But if you have somebody who has a few nice watches, you are not going to be wanting to like shove them in a bag or like in your wash bag, like a guy usually. No, and they might get scratched and stuff. So yeah. it's somewhere to keep nicer pieces, and it's also just adds a little bit of kind of like specialness to packing. Like yeah, if we're just packing for just like an a night way somewhere, then it's not too special. But if we're sort of like going somewhere nice, going somewhere nice, easy. and we get the nice case out, yeah. get a nicer, not so beaten up. Um, suitcase. Yeah, and I mean, you say that this is just for travel, but that watch was genuinely but in that there. that watch does and actually, you yeah. keep it there. So it is in there. It's also just a nice, um, nice place to be able to keep a few watches contained. And, and nice that smell. brand just has some lovely bits and bobs for men, doesn't it? They've got loads. They've also got some watch winders on there, which I've kind of been thinking about for a little while. Because if you have any automatic watches and you don't wear them for a couple of days, they're going to stop ticking and lose time. So... I have no idea what they are. It turns it. It slowly turns the watch all in the, the time. Case. In yeah, so you like you so put like it in the case. Sleep. Kind of, you tuck it into bed, <laughs> and it keeps it wound up oh. for like the weekend while you're wearing a different watch. Okay. Yeah. So for the real watch lovers. Yes. I actually feel like this is this is like a joint one. This is the kind of thing that we'd get given as a gift together as from couple. people. Yeah, as a couple. Um, we actually got given the cow shed. Um, hand wash and lotion last year in a lovely box set for my brother and his girlfriend and we are now starting to collect the shower gels ever since going to um, Barrington House and they had them like all lined up in a row loads of different ones so you could pick like try all of them yeah try a different one per day but this isn't something that you like buy yourself an expensive shower gel we buy our shower gel when we like go shopping at the supermarket yeah so um, it's a really nice luxury gift that you can get for somebody that they wouldn't usually buy themselves. Another one for the ladies, but the eyeshadow that I have on tonight is this NARS palette. And palettes are my absolute favorite at Christmas. They bring out loads of different ones, like beautiful colors that I just can't resist. And I loved the tones in here. I've got more of the goldy tones, like the sparkly tones on tonight, but this brown one is really great for every day. And I've been getting much more into the kind of um, blushy, warmer colours as well, something that kind of like matches with your cheeks and lips, I think it just makes you look really fresh and awake. And these are just lovely to try a few colours, I'm not actually sure what this one is called, but I'll link it below, and I think NARS does like such gorgeous pigments in the eyeshadows. And it's just like, I always find that when you go into like a beauty store, it's a bit like you're in a candy shop when you're older. And this is the feeling that I get when I get it for Christmas. So, last one that I'm allowed to know about is <laughs> some nice ties and, oh, tags on those. Some nice ties and pocket squares for work. Uh, it's just kind of like upgrading your workwear wardrobe. And Reese always have some really nice ties, pocket squares, mm. kind of like those kind of men's accessories. Um, so yeah, nice this matching is, sets. This is actually uh, one of Wally's Christmas presents that I picked up. Um, and an outlet <laughs> whilst I was shopping with him, so that's why I let him see it because he already knew that he had it. But I think they're such a classic to have in the wardrobe when we hopefully we will have, will have a lot more. But when we're going to a wedding or something, it's always like a last minute. I've got nothing like I don't know what tie and bit to yeah. wear, and it's nice to just build a nice collection so that you have them for when you need them. Yeah, I think you, chaps normally have quite a large collection of just kind of like ordering ties yeah. but the none that are really like not enough that are nice Special. so build up a little bit of collection of them then it'll be easy yeah. just to pluck one out i'm not sure i'll be able to link these because we got them in the outlet but oh, they but just always have them, always have they? really good like yeah. really good matching options for so ties and squares mm. so this is a bit of a luxury one for me anyway ollie got me these and it's from the brand i think it's said quiana and um, that correct me if i'm wrong Oh, the leather just smells really so, good. so good. Um, now, even though these are travel wash bags, beauty bags, I still think they are the most gorgeous gift. So I've got them in this, I don't know if it's called pink or blush, but I will list the colour below. And you can get them monogrammed, so I've got my initials on them, or I've got my initials on them, LMS. And they are just the most gorgeous quality. The zips are absolutely insane. So it's got this lovely gold zip that goes around. And I got this, I don't know if they do it 
not in a set, um, but this came in a set of two speed I think they do just come in sets. S singles or just sets? No, I think they just come in sets. Oh, just sets. Um, so yeah, you've also got the smaller makeup one as well as the like bigger um, travel beauty bag. And the quality of these are just insane. The company is from America and if I lived closer then I'd buy loads of things from a brand, but obviously you have to pay the shipping and the tax to get them into the UK. But I had had my eye on these for so many years. I tried to You've find been lusting after them for years and years. Yeah, I've just seen them on Gummy's Clan. Yeah, Julia and If any of you follow her, um, as soon as I saw the brand, I was like, oh, I absolutely love those, and thought, no, they're they're a little bit of an investment, but I couldn't stop thinking about them. And I also couldn't find the equivalent in the UK, but please tell me if there are any that are as nice as this. There are a few on Etsy, but they're just not the same quality. The I was even I was a bit surprised because yeah, they were too. they were quite expensive, but the lining is really nice. Yeah, it's like a really, really nice, really nice washable done. lining inside. Um, you can just smell the quality on them and feel it. And I think this kind of thing is the kind of thing that you don't buy yourself. So, for example. I kind of like felt like they were the higher price point. I didn't bite the bullet in on them, but I got them for me, so it was such a lovely treat. And that is everything that we have been loving this year that we are asking for for Christmas. I'm going to show you in a second a little bit that I've also been picking up for Ollie, but make sure to check out Top Cashback and their new members deal, which is £15 cashback when you spend £15 or more. It just helps, like, Saving a little bit of money at this time of the year, it can get a little bit overwhelming, can't it? With all can it be really nice as well because you will spend if you saved it all year round. When it comes to Christmas, you'll have like a nice little pot the next year. Buy some nice Christmas presents or treat yourself. Yeah, we are all for treating ourselves. <laughs> I'm kidding. Saving money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will see you guys. Pardon me. In the next one, we hope that you're all well and enjoy seeing some of our pics, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. And if you're intrigued, this is what I picked up for Ollie so far. So I picked up the keyring <laughs> that his was looking um, just a little bit worn. And this is the one that he was talking about that was like a little bit more rubberized. So it's not going to um, thread like his did. Again, I got it in the navy. And then for any DIY <laughs> lovers, I've also got this thing, which is basically for when you're wanting to mark around an item. Like you can see in here, you can do some really delicate woodwork by picking out the shape. And this is the kind of item that has like 5,000 reviews on Amazon. And Ollie's been really getting into his woodwork and this would just make it so much easier. He does it with like a really old fashioned way of doing it. And I thought this would make his life a lot simpler. Now, if you've watched my recent haul, you'll know that I love the John Lewis Cashmere. I get my gloves from them and they are so soft, really good quality and not like a bad price. This hat was £40. I actually got it when they recently had 20% um, off and I got it in a lovely navy. It's so unbelievably soft. I know he'll wear this loads. It's the kind of hat that he could dress up and dress down. So I thought he could wear this into work when it's cold, um, but also wear it kind of casually at the weekend. Then this is kind of like one of his main presents, so it's the Philips Multi-Tool Series 7000. I mean quite because he's in the next room. Um, and this was kind of a lockdown thought because it does absolutely everything. So it does the face, the hair, the body, actually has 18 different tools. So it's really multi-use and I just thought it was a, a brilliant tool to have for a guy because he only has like um, a beard trimmer. So when we were doing his hair, it was just really difficult to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully he will get a lot of use out of that. I think it's sometimes nice just to have a good upgrade of those. He's had his for years, his beard trimmer. And this was like my his and hers purchase. You heard how much I love my dressing gown. And this is basically exactly the same thing, but for guys, I picked it up off John Lewis. It feels so unbelievably soft. It also comes in a navy. I know he will absolutely love this because I love mine and he's kind of joked before about him loving one too. So I hope he does anyway. And now these are just stocking fillers. You've probably heard of these before. They are called tile and they're basically like a tracker, which sounds really bizarre, but they've got it like on here. So you can put it on your camera, your bike, your keys, your wallet, anything that you are likely to use. If you have a guy, oh, will it focus? 
like Ollie, who seems to lose absolutely everything and can't find it. I thought that this was kind of like a funny stocking filler. And then the other one is this one. Oh, upside down. So this is from the Y Company and it's a scent diffuser. So you can use their scents. So you could put winter in it if um, it's like over Christmas and then Seychelles. It just would smell insane. Um, so as you can kind of see there, you pop the oil onto the diffuser and then you can put it in the car. And I thought that this one looked really nice and well, it's kind of like unisex, but it looked quite masculine. I knew that Ollie would like it. And it's also just a little bit of a running joke that his car is kind of smelling because he always uses it for the tip runs. But I will show you any other little bits that I pick up for him or for family over Christmas. But for now, I'm going to stash these away somewhere where he can't find them. <laughs> 